I sat down and watched all of Gura's bully playthrough in one sitting when I was supposed to be editing a video. What kept me glued to the screen? Gura is really good at keeping you engaged with the game she's playing. Her emotions reflect whatever is happening on the screen and her attitude tends to mirror that of the character she is playing. Gura's streams feel very immersive for that reason. She often reacts to situations in the game like the main character would. She aids the storytelling in the game itself by getting across the thoughts and feelings of the character. Another great thing about Gura is that she's funny outside of her viral content. She seems best at improvisational and self-deprecating humor. The way she reacts to games and the situations she puts herself in are often comical. Of course, some games play to her strengths more than others. For instance, any game involving a math challenge makes it easier for her to entertain her audience. I would also say that open world games like Bully or Skyrim are ideal for the type of humor that Gura typically uses. Another awesome thing about Gura is that she's really humble and takes criticism well. Gura uses self-deprecating humor to smoothly deflect when people make fun of her. She's also not afraid to be open about things she's done that could be considered embarrassing. It's impressive how well Gura handles people calling her stupid or focusing on mistakes she made during games. Yet another thing I like about Gura is that she's more cerebral than you would expect from all the jokes about her. Her explanations of her own content are great and the way she fields audience questions on the fly is better than I can do. She seems to be advanced in reading comprehension and analysis as is further evidenced by her ability to write poems. So if you think Gura is just good at viral content, think again. What do you all like about Gura? Let me know in the comments and smash that like button. Join my Discord for more VTuber content. Thank you for watching.